Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Hello everyone. Uh, today we'll see how uh, to create a really cool and easy effect to your uh, pictures. It's a double uh, color ex exposure. As you can see, I made this one in here too. Uh, and of course, who, you are familiar with the, the regular uh, double exposure uh, effect that you take, you know, two different images and try to expose them together. Uh, I already made a tutorial that you can see in here. If you didn't uh, see that or you didn't know about it, just click uh, on it and uh, you will see uh, how to do that. So, but in this one, we see how to create this really cool uh, double color exposure in here. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. All right, so open your Adobe Photoshop and drag the images that you want to use. And of course, it's, uh, it should be two images that's taken in the same background. And it's better to be a solid background. Alright, so we just use the uh, same images in here. So open this one in here, it will be in the uh, background. And I will open the other one in here. And you know, you can use as much images as you want, but uh, it will give it, uh, you know, uh, a lot of uh, faces and it doesn't look that uh, that's great. If, but if you want to, to do that, you can do that. Alright, now uh, what we can do, we just we need to turn down the red channel of this uh, image in here and this is uh, like uh, the most easiest thing to do so just double click to this uh, image so it will open the layer side dialog and in here in channel what we're gonna do I will just uh, turn off the, the red channel and as you can see uh, it's give it this uh, exposure color in it uh, the cyan and the red and it will looks cool and you can just uh, play with the, the colors if you don't like this one you can just turn down the, the green and this will make it yellow and purple and blue if you, you can just leave the red or you can just leave the green or you can just leave it the blue but for this one I will just turn off the, the red and I will press ok as you can see uh, it already looks cool but uh, I'm gonna make some changes. Uh, first, I will. I need like I want to uh, to be the eye uh, matches the, the other eye of the image of the other image. So I will just uh, select my selection uh, tool in here, and I will just drag this image like that, and I will just try like to match it with the, the other eyes like so. All right something like that as you can see it looks cool this way all right like that and that's it that's what i'm gonna do and now uh, as you can see it's it's give it a lot of uh, red and uh, cyan so we need to desaturate that so we can apply a hue saturation to it so we just go and choose hue saturation and uh, we will go for in the masters in here and we choose red and we desaturate the red a little bit maybe minus as you can see if I turn down off all the red so and we want it to be like just desaturated a little bit so minus 40 maybe all right it looks cool and we go back and uh, this time we choose the cyan so we just go and choose sign and we get desaturated just a little bit okay minus 40 As you can see start to cool they like that now we just give it a little bit of uh, make it darker a little bit so we just go and choose levels in here and we just darken it just a little bit like that and make it like this not that much all right something like that and we go to our rgb and we choose blue and we turn down the, 
the, the black a little bit so we'll add a little bit of yellow of uh, blue sorry all right and in here we we, may, we, we add some yellows all right like this okay it looks cool like that as you can see and of course you can delete uh, some of uh, the details you don't want you can just go and apply a layer mask to the image and you know just grab a brush for example if you want if you want to delete this part in here you can just uh, delete that let's make it softer and you know you can just delete like that but I won't do that because I like it this way all right now uh, I'm gonna just apply a uh, sharpen to this image so it would look a little bit sharp and uh, by the way if you want like if you don't want to to be in color you can easily apply a, a black and white adjustment to it and also it looks cool so just go and choose black and white as you can see it does look cool uh, like this too so you have that option but i will just keep it in this uh, colors in here because i like that all right now i will just uh, take a, a snapshot to our uh, image in here so i press shift ctrl alt e and this will take a snapshot to it and I will turn it to black and white by pressing shift ctrl u and I will change the blend blending mode to it to uh, vivid light and I will go and choose filter other high pass this will uh, add uh, some uh, will make it a little bit sharpen so we'll choose 0 0.7 or 0.8 and press ok and as you can see it will give it this really cool sharpen to it especially in the in the hair in here it looks cool so now we're almost done all we're gonna do I will just uh, apply a, a, a gradient to it so just make a, a vignette so we we'll go and uh, change the style to radio and then we we'll reverse that and then we we'll change the scaling for like 159 something like that and the angle I will make it maybe 20 or 26 like that and press ok and I will change the blending mode to soft light and you're done and uh, also if you don't like the, the colors in here you can uh, easily go and double click to this uh, one to open the layer side dialog and just you know change the the colors of the channels in here so uh, maybe you can choose uh, red as you can see it does the go this way too so uh have that option and just press ok and you're done so uh, i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.